Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the hardcore world. We have made a lot of progress here. I've got so much to show you guys. But uh, first, I I'm, I'm pretty sure the villager breeder is working. Holy moly, there's a lot of villagers up there. And I've actually done some stuff with some villagers recently. So as you can see in here, I've got myself two farmer villagers that I've actually been doing some trading with to make us some emeralds because we've been spending emeralds. As you guys can see by the enchanted books in my inventory, I have been uh, spending some emeralds recently. Oh yeah, I also have two Fletcher villagers in there that I've been trading sticks to, but I know exactly what you guys want to see. If we come up here into the library, I've got myself two beautiful librarian villagers. We've got a mending villager, and we've also got a prot three villager. Now, the reason I don't have protection five or four or whatever is because this is so cheap. It's just kind of easier for me to get protection four by combining two of these. And it's still really low price. So that's been working. But guys, today we've got some projects I want to get working on. Firstly, I want to get started on my diamond armor set because this is not the best armor. And now that we have these enchants, I mean, we're looking pretty good. I do want to see if it's possible to get any unbreaking books at some point, uh, but I don't have much luck with enchants, so we probably will need an unbreaking villager because I don't think I'm going to get lucky. But that won't be a problem because we have so many villagers, so we can get that pretty easily, I'm sure. But guys, the main thing that we're going to be doing in today's video is actually building a gigantic garden. I love flowers and colors and everything like that in Minecraft, and I think we really need to add that into this world. Of course, there is quite a bit of life going on. We've got vines all over the place on both villages, and we've also got this gigantic farm that I just harvested, but I really want to add in some flowers and just a gigantic garden in general. So I have mapped out a little bit of an area up here where we're going to be planting a bunch of flowers. As you can see, I cleared the land. I added in a bunch of podsol because I really like how this looks. And this is all going to be covered in flowers very, very soon. I did take a trip to my local flower forest and grabbed a ton of stuff. I actually don't know where that chest is. Might be over here. Oh, here it is. Yes, there's a ton of stuff in here. Uh, you guys can see that's a lot of flowers. So yeah, that's pretty much what's new in the world. I've gathered flowers and moved some villagers around okay guys so what i think i want to do right now is actually grab ourselves an unbreaking villager get some enchants put onto my diamond armor and then get moving on this flower garden guys in the next episode we have to build a bridge because i'm getting so many comments about this dirt path you guys hate it so we really need to add in a bridge so let me know what kind of design we should go for for the bridge Oh my god, how did you guys all get out? Okay, let me make another boat. Come here, sir. You will not fit in that boat. All right, guys, I've got some villagers. I'm going to see if we can get one of these guys to be an Unbreaking 3 villager, and I'll be right back with you guys. Also, guys, by far the best way to move villagers when you can't use a boat are the workstations. This guy just, like, runs towards any job, and it's so useful. I'm sure most of you know that, but... I just love this way of moving villagers. It's so quick. Okay, so now we should be able to start getting this guy into an unbreaking villager. So I'm going to buy a bookshelf really quickly here and make another lectern. There we go. All right, buddy. It's time to work some magic. Guys, I just got an efficiency five book. I don't know if I should take this trade or not. I'm kind of tempted. It's a little pricey, but oh my gosh, dude, this could be really good. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm going to pass. I'm, I'm going to pass that for now. I don't know if that's like a super rare treasure trade or what, but uh, we'll get it another time. I don't know if that's like super rare and if that's like a bad thing to miss out on, but I think we'll be okay. We can always get that if we want it later on. It actually took me so long to get ourselves a protection book. I just keep getting impaling, channeling, aqua infinity, stuff like that. I am like not getting any enchants I want today. No, like I'm not kidding. It took me an hour or two to get protection. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take this unbreaking two deal. I just cannot wait any longer. These librarians are driving me crazy. So when we have two of these, we can just combine it to an unbreaking three and bam, there we go. So that is, uh, that's pretty good for now. I'm going to get uh, a few of these. Actually, I'm all out of emeralds. Oh no, that's not good. Well guys, at least we do have a mending villager so we can get mending and uh, we can fix all of our armor and tools and everything like that. Because if we didn't have mending, that would be a different story. We would be uh, kind of out of luck. 
but I'm also gonna go through and enchant this stuff and try to get some unbreaking on it as it is oh no this one has projectile protection we'll have to remove that because you can only have one type of protection on your armor oh, I don't have a grindstone in here dang it okay let's remove that there we go I might want to go to the nether really quickly actually and grab some XP I'm kind of thinking of doing that like if we can get some quartz that would be actually really helpful Okay, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. And actually, we really haven't explored the nether much at all, which we really are needing to do because we should probably find a fortress, get some blaze rods, and maybe even grab some ender pearls while we're here and get ready to go fight the ender dragon because we haven't even started thinking about that. And it's already episode five. So we uh, definitely wanna start getting moving on that. All right, guys, I've got a few more levels. Nothing crazy, honestly, but I think this will help us be able to enchant our armor to like a level one enchant. And that way, maybe we can get Unbreaking 2 or something to give us a little head start. And that way, we don't have to buy as many enchant books. All right, guys, I'm back in the overworld. I think what I want to do really quick is actually trade some sticks with these Fletchers because uh, we only have nine emeralds left and I think we need a few of them. So I am definitely going to do this really quick just so that we can get a few more emeralds because yeah, we're going to need them. And I forgot this also gives us XP, which is very nice. And we can also buy bows from them. I forgot about that. And I think some of them can sell arrows, but we've almost got these guys all the way leveled up, which is really great. All right, guys, we've got a stack and 40 emeralds. I think that is a pretty good amount for now. So I'm gonna head up over to our library and finish getting all the enchants we need. And then we can start putting them on the armor. Okay, so I'm gonna put Unbreaking 2 on that, so that'll give us Unbreaking 3. And let me put a Protection 4 book on that. So there we go. That helmet is perfect. And then I'm gonna do Unbreaking 3 on the chest plate, Protection 4 on the chest plate. And oh my god, we're out of levels again. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, that's unfortunate. Let me put Protection 4 on this guy. And yeah, we do not have enough XP levels to do anything else. Okay, well, you know what? This is looking pretty dang good. I do want to put mending on some of my tools eventually because I really like them. So I'm going to do my pickaxe for now. And once we get some more XP, we can start to put some other enchants on. But for now, we are looking to be in great shape, actually. I feel pretty good about our progress. And yes, we have like zero XP now, but that's okay. We will get that back. I think I'm probably going to do some grinding in between episodes to get ourselves a bit more XP. And hopefully by the next episode, we'll be eating golden carrots or something because I'm tired of bread. I don't want to eat bread anymore. Never thought I would say that, but it's true. Now, guys, I think it's time to get started on this little garden. Uh, so I'm probably going to grab a little bit of oak wood because honestly, I don't know if we want to do a little bit of like detailing over there or what I'm thinking. I'm also going to grab a little bit of iron so I can make a bucket because I don't think I have a bucket at the moment. I'm pretty sure I lost mine, which is not good because buckets are uh, actually really useful in hardcore Minecraft. And I might want to add a pond into the garden. I'm not exactly sure just yet. But I guess we can start off by grabbing some of the plants that I had collected. We've got a lot of different types of flowers here. Like a lot. Oh my god, there's just so many to choose from. I don't even know where to begin. So I'm actually just going to get started by placing these little sections of flowers. And I'm going to do like a little color here. And then I'll change the color up as we uh, move along into different little sections of these colors. And I'm very curious to see what you guys think about this garden. So be sure to judge me down below in the comment section. Leave me some suggestions or critiques or whatever you think about this garden because I am very curious and I love to improve my building from what you guys offer to me.
Wow, this is looking awesome. Oh my goodness, I actually really love this. Okay, this is a lot of flowers. Holy moly. But I do kind of love if we come up here to our patio. Oh my god, and look out and there's just flowers everywhere. Oh my god, that's so cool. Now, I will say this. We need more of these leaves. So, I'm going to grab some shears. Actually, we can just do that. And I'm going to go over and get a bunch of leaves. Because, actually, that will really add a lot to this environment. Oh, and I forgot to add in some bamboo. Just kind of mixed around here. Uh, because bamboo tends to look really, really cool. So, I am just going to add a few bamboo plants. And they'll probably grow to be pretty tall. Which will be awesome looking. Uh-oh. We've got some friends. Well, I'm going to stay away from them because my luck, I'm going to kill the raid captain, head back over to my villagers, and a raid is going to start in my town, which I really don't want to happen right now. Oh my goodness, there's actually cows right up here. We're going to need to grab these guys next episode and make a little cow farm because I have no way of getting leather right now. It's been very hard to get books. I've had to just run around killing cows and uh, it is not fun. It's very, very difficult. So I think I'm going to invest in a cow farm in the next episode. Now, guys, there is one thing I forgot to mention is I actually started a live streamed series with my buddy Mossy, and I've been streaming it on the channel. So if you guys have any interest in that, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you get notified when that stream series is happening because it's been a lot of fun and I don't want you guys to miss out if that's something you're interested in. It's like a modded duos streamed live. It's, it's really cool. So now, guys, I'm just kind of enclosing all of this in, in like some leaves and stuff like that. All right, there we go. So that is kind of closed in now. I am going to add in a bit more flowers, but we are uh, pretty, pretty filled in here. There's, there's a lot of flowers already in this garden. Well, there we have it. I am pretty sure we're all filled in now. Oh my God, this looks so cool. Now, guys, one last thing we have to add are these lamp posts. These make the garden environment so cool. And we definitely need to add a few of these in every now and then. So I'm going to grab some oak wood really quick and I'm going to add a few of these in. And then we can see how this thing looks at night because the sun is actually setting right as we speak. And I am just so excited for this. All right, guys, I think we are just about set. I think this garden has really come together. It's pretty lit up. Honestly, I'm not going to have any lampposts in the middle of the garden, but I think we've got enough around it. Hopefully not too many. Let me know what you guys think. Oh my gosh, I love this build. It's a very simple build, but it, it does wonders for the world. Now, I kind of was thinking of adding in like a little shed back there or something. I'm not exactly sure just yet what I want to do, but this is going to have some more stuff added around it. Might add a little waterfall up there. I have no idea just yet. And also, there were a few of you guys wondering what day I'm on. I'm on day 128. So, yeah, this is everything that we've been able to accomplish thus far. I think we've gotten quite a lot done. Now, guys, I think what I want to do to end off the episode is go to the nether, get a bunch of XP, and finish off my armor set with protection for unbreaking three enchants. It's going to take a little bit of grinding to get the emeralds and XP for it. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of a time lapse, and I'll be right back with you guys when we can make these upgrades. Guys, I'm back. I've been doing a lot of stuff in the nether and in the overworld, getting some XP and quite a few emeralds. I'm pretty proud of this. But uh, we're back here in the library, and I think we are good to go to finish off our set of armor. So we definitely need to do some stuff to these boots. This chest plate is finished for now. Our diamond leggings need an unbreaking book, and the helmet is good for now. So I am going to buy ourselves a few unbreaking books. I think we need about four of them. Actually, we can get unbreaking on the diamond boots. Let's try that out. Okay, perfect. So now we only should really need to use one of these books. 
bam, and we also need to get protection four. So let me buy two of these, and then we just gotta combine them and add them to the boots. There we go, guys. Okay, the boots are done, and we need unbreaking three for our leggings. Let's do that. Okay. Now, guys, we've got full prot for Unbreaking 3. That is actually pretty amazing. Now, of course, I would love to add mending onto some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. How much are these mending books again? I think they were a little expensive. Half a stack of emeralds per mending book. Little pricey there. But we can buy a few of them. I'm going to buy one more. Okay. So that also gave us a little bit of XP, which is definitely a plus. And as you can see, it's actually very expensive to put these on. So for now, I'm going to put one on the sword because that's really all we can afford for now. Uh, yeah, we're out of XP already again, which is very sad. We're going to need to figure out a way to get a good amount of XP because, uh, oh, we already had these books. I didn't even remember that. Whoopsie daisies. Okay. But yes, guys, for now, we are looking pretty amazing. I got to say. Prot 4 on breaking 3. I am very happy with that. We've got a beautiful pickaxe, literally the best pickaxe possible, and we got mending on our sword, which is also great. Now, yes, guys, I have been spending some time getting some emeralds from my different villagers, including these guys. So I'm going to do a little bit of trading really quickly here just to see if we can make a few more emeralds before we end off this episode. But guys, I really do feel like we made amazing progress today. I hope you guys have had fun along this journey with me. And if you guys want the seed, it's always in the description. I know I got quite a few people asking about it last time. So if you are interested in playing in this world, the seed is always in the description. Okay, but that got us a little bit more emeralds, which is very, very good, actually. I forgot, guys, we actually have to make ourselves an enchanted diamond axe at some point. Because I've just been using iron ones and holy villagers. Oh, my God. Um, guys, do you... Dude... Oh my gosh, I've never seen something so efficient. Guys, what the heck? Okay, that is actually a little bit insane. Like, actually really insane. I need to find more gravel so that I can get flint and make more fletching tables. And then maybe we'll have a nice big fletcher hall where we can trade all of the sticks to and get super duper rich. But the downside is I have silk touch on my shovel. So uh, we kind of have to do this without our shovel for now. All right, I've got a bit of flint. We should be able to make ourselves a few fletching tables real quick and start getting some of these villagers moved over because that is a lot of villagers in there. I'm actually wondering if this is like a glitch with the 1.18 snapshot I'm playing on because what the heck? Okay, villager moving time. Honestly, I only have enough flint to make two of these fletching tables. So I'm just going to move two villagers over into the fletcher house just for now. And probably by the next episode, we'll have a lot more over there. All right, guys, I've just got the second Fletcher moved in. Don't don't ask about this contraption here. But now we've got four of them, which is actually really good. Hi, fellas. All right, let's start leveling these guys up. Guys, I'm making so many emeralds from these Fletchers. It's literally insane. OK, I think they're all sold out. We just got two stacks of emeralds from them. That is literally insane. Oh, my goodness. I am absolutely thrilled with the progress that we have made in this video i'm gonna go throw some mending books on my armor just because now we have a bit of xp and why the heck not all right let me buy one more and let's put the mending books onto our armor just oh we're out of we're out of xp okay well at least we were able to get two pieces with mending on it that that is a lot better than i was expecting i did not think we would actually have any xp to do that but I'm pretty happy. Anyways, guys, I really hope you did love this video. If you did, please be sure to smack a like on it and subscribe to the channel because I upload these quite often on the channel, actually. And I've got a 100 days video coming out in the coming days. And I've also started a new streamed series that is Mossy and I playing some modded Minecraft. It is a completely streamed series. It's literally been crazy so far and I don't know what else is in store for it. It's gonna be nuts. So make sure you have your post notifications on and join my Discord so that you know when I'm going live so you don't miss any of that. But thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.